welcome back to my channel. And yes, my hands are a total mess today. Um, but that's okay. I've been mixing paint. So that makes me happy. Um, so I'm going to do a Dutch pour today. Um, I've been doing a ton of resin, not resin, um, pouring medium work that's a bit like um, resin. And so I've been doing a lot of um, manipulating the paint with my breath. So I kind of wanted to do a Dutch pour, which is kind of a similar thing, but with more um, fluid acrylics rather than pouring medium with acrylics. So my my uh, um, negative space color is going to be this teal. I hope this is coming through. I'm going to try really hard when I edit to get this um, my color right on um, on the camera because or on the computer because. Um, it's just really pretty and it is basically just a mixture of phthalo green yellow shade and cerulean blue hue um, the two together make a beautiful beautiful teal um, so I'm hoping I get that color to come out right on and then I have some this is Arteza's pearl pink tulip I have some Arteza uh, gold that I got a hair bit of green in um, but I don't think I got any in the actual pink, except maybe a tiny bit. It's mostly just on the cup, so we'll be good. And then just a tiny bit of white, and we'll see how much of that I even use. There is, um, silicone in the pink, the gold, and the white, just my regular spot-on treadmill belt lubricant. Um, and, uh, there is no silicone in the teal. All the colors are mixed about 50-50 with Floetrol and a little bit of um, water. So I'm going to do my super pretty teal here. I love this color. It's hard to find sometimes the teal that's in your head in a bottle. Um, you know, you go with a color in your head and Sometimes it's hard to find one that's just exactly what you're looking for. And of course, when you get there, kind of like looking for a color to paint your house, sometimes you get there and then, you know, colors are beside other colors and it kind of changes the way it looks and you're looking at it next to blue and you're like, is that the color I'm looking for? So sometimes it's kind of nice to be able to just mix your own, get it exactly the way you want it when you're doing it. Okay. I'll make sure all the sides are covered, but... You don't need to watch that. Okay, I'm gonna wipe my hands a little bit. I really should have worn gloves. Um, this uh, Nova Color paint is harder to get off than some other brands. It really likes to stick to my hands. But that's right. If I have paint on my hands for a few days, I'm not, I'm not gonna be too upset. Okay, so let's do let's do some white. First, eh, let's do gold first. I don't do a ton of, um, I guess what a technically would be considered um, a Dutch pour, but like I said, I, I do like to use Liquitex and use uh, air to move it. So this will be my take on a Dutch pour. I'm not going to use a ton of that. I really want this pink to come through, so I might do another layer. Okay, we'll kind of make sure there's enough of this kind of in, on the back side. I'll do some right through it. I know uh, kind of the Dutch pour, you've seen somewhere they pour the white like back over it and somewhere they don't. I, I'm not going to pour the teal back over it, I don't think. Um, I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay, forgive my my frizzy hair. It's been raining for two days, just solid. And I don't do up my hair to, to paint. <laughs> I don't get out the hair uh, straightener to <laughs> the flat iron to get ready to paint. So. I'm going to, oh, those cells are really pretty. I'm going to tilt a little bit this way, and then I may do another one uh, over here a little bit because I don't want my cells getting super wonky. I 
I think what I'll do is blow it out just a little bit more on the edges to give it that kind of uh, scattered look. gonna add a little bit of more pink and I'm gonna um, blow it I think a little bit more I the white is really kind of um, the color that's coming through and I really like it I think it's very pretty but I do want a little bit more pink I think so I'm just gonna just drop a little bit I'm not gonna um, start over with another puddle And put some heat. Well, I guess there wasn't anything on there. There we go. And then maybe just a little bit of gold. I'm surprised. I wasn't really wanting a lot of white. So I'm surprised. I kind of like the way that white looks. I was thinking maybe just accent. Um, and I didn't put a ton on the canvas. But I, I actually kind of like that more than I thought. I do apologize for my, my head just being in view, but I really don't like, um, I could use a straw and that would kind of, um, have my head be less in view, but, um, I don't like the way the straw pushes the paint all the time. Sometimes it doesn't, um, it's very concentrated. The stream of air it gives kind of a narrow, uh, push to the paint. Okay, I'm just going to try and get a shape out of this that I like before I just kind of call it quits. What is that? Oh, that's that. Doop, 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 doop. Mm. You know, I kind of like that. I don't think I'm going to get um, a shape that I like uh, much more. I kind of like that. It's still just a little bit um, spread out at the edges. We don't just have a blob in the middle or at the, you know, right here. Um, so I am going to leave it at that. I'll do some close-ups. Okay. Oops, I almost dropped my phone in it. That would have been a disaster. Woo, there we go. Some close-ups here. I really am surprised I like that white as much as I do against this... Um, Teal. I was really planning on mostly pink, but I like the way that looks. So, no complaints. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, and there's the edge. Super pretty. I love the edges. Are you a edge runoff person, or do you like the um, kind of um, painted edges? I like the runoff. It's one of my favorite parts, the edges. It's one of my favorite parts of poured paintings. So what do you guys think? Um, definitely share your, your Dutch pours um, with different colored uh, negative space than white on our page, Fluid Art Fanatics or on We, Part, we Pour Art. Both links will be in the description. Oh, that's a pretty section, isn't it? Um, I'd love to see what you guys are up to. And we'll see you next time, guys. Happy pouring!